Hey guys, Artosis here. Welcome back to Artosis Cast. Today we're going to be starting a little ladder series. Uh, this is Larva in the bottom right, and this is Barracks in the bottom left. Of course, Barracks is in pretty much every single ASL, a very strong, very fast mechanical Terran, and Larva, of course, an ASL champion. Uh, you know, still in very good shape all the time, even though he doesn't play as regularly in ASL since his victory. Uh, now, they met on the ladder and ended up playing, I believe it's six games in a row. So that is going to be what we do here and see, uh, does Barracks have a shot here against the champ? Should be a very good series. I think Barracks has some very strong Terran versus Serg. He's just a very fast player in general. I think you'll see that reflected in this AM, APM tab. I, I think he's actually, amongst the actual pros, the fastest uh, player that there is right now. I'm fairly certain about that. So it should be fun. Uh, yeah, so hope you guys will enjoy that. It feels like everyone really liked our other matches, Rain versus Selah and Bisu versus Soma. Uh, and this is one of the next longest ones <laughs> that has been found. Uh, but very cool, especially since they're all played, like, right in a row. Um, you know, that's, that's like, kind of a harder thing to find because people aren't... I feel like people aren't as likely to queue over and over and over. Anyways, uh, taking a look at this game, uh, we are on Polypoid, and we have a forward eight barracks. Not, like, an all-in build. This will be a pressure build. But he's actually building a depot in his main base as opposed to out here to create some sort of wall-in afterwards. Uh, so that is... Generally, when you see it like this, you'll see a gas. I'm not sure if we'll end up seeing the gas. Like, maybe he will just pull back normally and utilize a bunker. Uh, but if you want to expand after a build like this, generally, you just make a wall so that you don't have to afford that bunker. Yeah, anyways, we'll see. This uh, SCV going down, he is going to find Larva in the closest position here. And it is, in fact, a hatchery first. So there's, like, some real potential here for damage. Larva sees the Marine coming out. And he's going to know exactly what he needs to do here. He's going to have to pull a decent amount of drones here. I feel like about, you know, it, it, I think it varies. If you're playing against uh, two racks, you have to pull almost every drone here. I think you need seven. Uh, let's see. He actually does pull exactly seven. Um, so, yeah, that that's kind of like this has become pretty standard at this point. I'm not a magician for knowing. I just pay attention. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, he's going to bring these drones and you can see his movement. Notice how he keeps them kind of spread. He wants to be able to come in and block and have as many of them shoot at once as possible. Now, their formation is bad here unless you overclick and surround Marines. So he loses one. You don't want to lose more than two here. Two even Terran is going to feel pretty good about. So he loses two and already Barracks will be reasonably happy about this, I think. Barracks decides to turn around. This was a good play, okay? I think I think you might look at that and say, oh, wow, why does he turn around? Like, he has a bunker almost done. Well, the thing is, uh, if you look at his position and the fact that he knows when the pool finishes, see all these lings coming? If he had committed there with the three or four Marines that he had, he will end up losing them. And then how many will he have at home? He'll have about two Marines and a counterattack that comes in. Like I mentioned before, he didn't make a wall. So if you're not going to make that wall, we can see that Barracks is playing like more carefully with his Marines. He killed two drones. He didn't lose SCVs. He didn't lose Marines. He's picking off some Zerglings here and there. This is advantage to Barracks. Uh, I wouldn't call it like a massive advantage here. This is certainly something that I think that Larva can play his way out of. But yeah, I would say that this is, I'm actually getting like light chills here just because I feel like Barracks executed this really well, especially my question about why he wasn't going for the wall, which is so common. With the wall, you can actually sacrifice some Marines. You can really go for it and, like, lose three, four Marines. And then you have Marines behind a wall, so you're just fine anyways. Either way, uh, he's continued to create Marines here. You can see one Ling did go for a little bit of a scout and sees, in fact, that it is a quick gas. Uh, and, in fact, this is going to be one Racks Academy. So if you're going to go one Racks Academy, again, this forward pressure from the Marines that we saw from Barracks, you have to save them. You can't. You can't send them in and try to get more damage. Like, you can pressure like this as long as they make it home. But the thing to remember here is one barracks play, you can't replace anything. You just, you have to make sure you have all your units. Now, he floats it back into a super defensive location. This will block commsats, but honestly, you don't need a commsat very quickly right now. It's more about SCV production. He's put on a ton of pressure. He knows that Mutalisks will be late. 
And honestly, he'll be able to get one comsat, which should be should be enough. It's going to be very rare that you see the Spire made at the natural expansion. Uh, but yeah, we'll see where, where he puts it down and how quickly we get scouting from, uh, from barracks in that regard. Stim is being made. And he's going to pop out some medics. And the thing is, as he pops out medics, like he's done such a good job producing. Look at this. He's got 11 Marines. I actually, I'm going to steal this build. This is a great build from barracks. The fact that he has retained every single Marine and he's literally going to hit a Marine medic pressure attack after pressuring twice already. And he's got this many Marines. This is fantastic. Like this feels very good for barracks as his second medic pops out. He, I th oh, he's actually going to three medic. That's crazy. He might go fire bats after this. I would love to see him pop two fire bats. Because if you pop two fire bats, you can just leave your base. So it looks like he is going to get ready to leave. Let's look at Larva. He has a one sunken up and he has a second ready. But this isn't eight Marines. This is closer to 12. This is 11 Marines. Okay, he picks one off. That's a sick pick off. Like everything that you see here is really important. The three medics as well. They can heal uh, through the two Sunkins and then also some Ling attack. Actually turns part of his group around. This is interesting the way he's splitting. This won't be able to do anything up here, but he's forcing three Sunkins. So like, let's let's just like kind of count, okay? One, two, three. No, that's not what I'm talking about. If you look at all the pressure that has been put on, this is actually the real key to super high level Terran Berserk. It's not actually about straight up direct damage. It's about forcing the Zerg to make concessions. So his initial eight racks killed two drones. And then, uh, you know, he forced an early sunken and then he forced three sunkens. There was also like six slings made early on and he's picked off most of them. And he hasn't lost anything. Literally, he hasn't lost anything. I don't believe he's lost a single Marine. We don't have the units lost tab like in StarCraft 2, but I, I believe that that's the case. And look at this. He's got his barracks on the way. He's got plus one on the way. I think he already got range. I actually wasn't paying super close attention to that, but I think he's already got range in there as well. So this group can actually walk around. This is only five mutas. He's totally fine here. Uh, now, Larva is expanding to the top right. Oh, man. If he goes and zaps that, Larva is going to be very, very sad. It looks like he might be able to as well. It's just it's such a low amount of mutas right now. Now he continues forward. Mm. I don't know if he's gonna get it, honestly. Like Larva's Mutalist Micro is very good. He's got eight mutas now. I think he can kill this off before it gets his third base. Uh, now there is reinforcements coming. So if Barracks plays to meet up with the reinforcements, if he meets those two armies, the third base is dead, and he'll probably end up taking this game maybe quickly. Uh, but if Larva can kill this before the reinforcements get up, then he can also kill the reinforcements. Well, probably. Okay, so this is a full group of mutas, and you can see... Lar Ooh, that was a good move! And Larva actually with a little bit of misclick, and we have the bio forces meeting up. So Larva started to really reduce it, but was a little bit late on it. Now he still has enough mutas that this could be done. Like, he, he can still knock these out, especially if he holds here. Like, going up the ramp is very hard for Marines, right? They don't all shoot at the same time, and the Mutas can take a lot of pot shots there. You can see Larva right now really controlling as best he can. Ooh, picks a Medic. We have Lings coming up as well, so he is definitely going to jump on this. This third base is going to be safe. Very good defense this game so far from Larva. And he's going to bring... Oh, where? The Lings aren't coming. He's trying to wait for Zergling Speed. But, Zer okay, Zergling Speed just finished, but he was already on top of the Marines. And he will end up clearing this now. Really well done. A very good hold. Now, that being said, I still like Barrack's position. Okay? He actually has, like, plenty of turrets. He actually didn't end up needing these because he put so much pressure onto, onto Larva. And then you look at the worker count. 26 drones against 48 SCVs. He's got two... Uh, Two starports already down, science facility, second eBay, fifth barracks. Everything looks really, really good for barracks right now. But Larva coming in, he's going to try to do something here. And uh, yeah, he tries to hit that bioforce, but barracks just has a bit too much. So a decent attempt here. He is going to fly into the main base and see what he can get done. Picking off a few SCVs, but really the turret coverage is very good. So he's just going to deny some of these buildings for a little bit. 
and then probably get out of there. Irradiate is on the way to make those mutalisks much less effective. And actually, Larva's making four Scourge. He saw the science facility blinking, so he knows that vessels are on the way. The four Scourge, or six Scourge even, I find, I find this very interesting. You normally won't see this many Scourge against Vessel. Uh, you like if if it was a Valkyrie build, it's much more likely to see this many scourge, and you'll do things like try to dive on the Valks and kill them off. He might be able to dive on vessels. We'll see. That's that would be like a huge move. So much of Terran versus Zerg at high levels comes down to reducing the vessel count. So if he if he can utilize those scourge really well and kill off some vessels, he's gonna be super happy. In fact, he sees a vessel, gives it a little bit of damage. It's still outside of one scourge death range. Uh, so that, that swipe didn't really do that much for him. Gonna back up now with those mutas. Oh no, so much going wrong for poor Larva this game. Barracks pushing across the map. We have more sunken colonies going up. We have a lot of hydras here. So as that lurker upgrade finishes, he is gonna be able to defend even better. Uh, we have one hydra up at the top. Obviously you can block the ramp. Uh, while you morph some lurkers and probably end up holding on, but with like two irradiates, it's it's getting a little bit rough. We might... Mm, can he attack there? I don't think so. I think there's enough units here that you don't really want to do this. Like, yeah, I don't like that too much. He, he morphs the eggs. Well, I mean, he's morphing the eggs, and here come the mutas and the lings. So, you know, generally attacking the sunken line can be dangerous, but it ends up working brilliantly. He kills off all the mutas. Even if he loses all these Marines and Medics right now, he's ahead. I wonder if this game is actually going to finish pretty quickly here. Like, you know, the eggs, the eggs will finish, I guess. And he has more bio coming down, but it looks like the Lurkers burrow just before the other bio gets there. Six spines over there to the left-hand side. And does Larva actually have enough? It looks like Larva has exactly enough here to hold this. If he was one Lurker less during that, I think he actually would have lost the game. That's how close that was. He barely cleared those Marines and Medics before everything he had popped. Just crazy. Just crazy that he holds on. Larva just, it, like, almost unkillable this game. But now we have Massa Radiates coming down. Barracks. Well, he hasn't actually... I find this kind of interesting. He hasn't remade any of the SCVs that the Mutas killed. So he just said, you know what? I'm fine on this if you count. And he's kind of right. On two base, you're fine on 41. That's going to be a pretty, a pretty solid economy. Uh, and, you know, he's just, he's adding more barracks. He is getting another command center as well, but really uh, for him right now, it's about producing as many Marines and medics and science vessels as he can to continue applying this pressure. And you can see, right? Like all this pressure, it adds up over time. Larva is in a tough position. Like he is losing a lot of units. He's just barely holding on this entire time. And Larva's ready to pounce. I mean, uh, Barracks is ready to pounce. Like, Larva, if he... Like, two Lurkers, one's hurt, two Sunks. I think you can stim and spread and break this. Like, you'll lose some Marines, but I, honestly... Yeah, look at that. It's one Lurker. Okay, he is popping out more from his Nidus. So, I think Larva realizes he's like, Oh, God, I could be broken here. Brings him up. There's only one Medic in this army, by the way, in low energy. He is bringing another one, but at this point, you want, like, five Medics. Uh, so, he's a little bit off that. Loses one. Dude, okay, there you go. More medics coming down. I was going to say, that is like kind of a crazy reason not to win a game is you somehow run out of medics. <laughs> uh, but yeah, more lurkers have come out. Larva almost has consume. He's got to start thinking about taking this base. He is going to need a fourth, but it's getting tough because of the vessel count. Look, he's retained four vessels. Another nice irradiate goes down. And it looks like he wants to attack in. I don't know about this one. Don't know about this attack. It feels like there's plenty of lurkers. Yeah. So he kills like two sunkens, but loses like, what was that? Eight, 10 Marines? Doesn't really feel worth it here. I think at this point, it's more about controlling the map with your huge bio forces and landing your irradiates. Now, taking a look, if you look at the mini map at the bottom left, you can see Larva has set up for himself insane vision. Like he sees just about everything that's approaching all of his bases. So he has a good idea of what's going on, even though he's pretty darn far behind. You know, the number I always point out is 70 supply. Like that's that's the brink, right? Like you're just defending at 70. So you can see he's just a little bit above that. The Defiler is going to be coming out. Plague is almost ready. He already has consumed. He's got this line of lurkers, but as the radiates go down, this is gonna become harder and harder and harder 
keeping this vessel count up really high. We've only seen like one or two vessels die so far, I believe. More units being shoved through that Nidus worm to get over here. Um, or Nidus Canal, <laughs> Nidus Worm. <laughs> this isn't StarCraft 2. The canal hasn't evolved into a worm yet. Uh, anyways, the lurkers here are going to be broken. I think this is Larva's last hurrah, honestly. The amount of pressure that Barracks put out in this game is very, very impressive. It's just like really, really, really well done. Um, you know, it, okay, a Dark Storm goes down. He's running the lurker back. But fire bats are coming up. That's a that's a great play here. You can just use the fire bats to clear such a small amount of melee units and lurkers. And that's gonna mean a dead fourth base. There's just there's really look, C70 supply. It's like, okay, he's barely not dead, barely not dead. Oh, we're about to die. <laughs> it's super, super close that right now. Has a nice medic contain going on down here. A plague went down, so Larva's still trying to grind this out a bit. Popping out some hydras. Going to make a few more lurkers. Fourth base, four barracks. It's funny, you can see the amount of pressure that our, our very fast Terran players put on. Uh, we barely looked at his base throughout this, right? Like, he's just, he's kept his units out on the map. Just a beautifully played Terran Berserk. We have a lot of Scourge coming out. This, I definitely condone at this point. It's like, he has to start getting kills on vessels if he's going to have any chance. Uh, that was... That, that was him looking for the vessels flying in for radiates right there. If they happened to be, we would have been like, damn, that's so good. But instead, they fly up and they just die. Uh, yeah, dropping out some units into this uh, top right main base, the third of Larva. And yeah, it looks like he won't quite break through this uh, Nidus, but does send his Marines up to the side. Continuing to put that pressure on at the fourth base, not really letting Larva... Uh, you know, secure it, not letting him get up to that fourth gas. Meanwhile, 143 supply here for barracks. Larva. Mm, he's actually adding another macro hatch. So, like, he's trying to field enough units to just force his way into getting this base. And the thing is, Larva's really good at late game. So, if he can get into a position where he's farming Terran with Plague... I feel, I think he feels like he can come back from almost anything, but honestly, this position, I don't think it's the case. Like, even, even if you get this base up, like if this appeared finished right now and he got drones to it, it's like, oh God, it, you know, if you try to go like a, a, uh, you can't do an ultralisk switch because your economy's too weak, you know, you, mm, just nothing feels good about it. It's, it's going to be a hard position to grind out at this level. And Barracks with the amount of bases that he has, beautiful SCV count, great macro going on. You know, you can see he still has one to 2K minerals. It's just like he's got so much mining going on. It's really hard to spend all that. But yeah, doing another drop up here into this main and he's gonna kill the Nidus. So that's gotta be it, GG. Really a cool game there from Barracks, really showing his strength. But honestly, the fact that Larva after the first several pressures made it to 18 minutes and and was still fighting toe to toe for a bit is pretty impressive guys i hope you enjoyed this game as barracks takes the first map and leads one to zero